being involved with the various tribunals that we talked about today. But going back to the beginning, uh, Nuremberg trials. It's the it's the stamp of legitimacy for all that we have done ever since. In other words, when we got started in the 1990s on building the more the modern war crimes tribunals, uh, we had to have some historical validation for what we were doing. And Nuremberg provides that validation. Mm -hmm. it's, it, was the, it was the original foundational template for what was undertaken in the 1990s. If we had not had Nuremberg, it would have been a far more controversial and difficult process to build an international criminal tribunal uh, uh, system you know, for the 1990s. So it, it to me, is, is it's, it's the historical validation of what had to follow it many decades later. Mm -hmm. As you've been so involved with the policy aspect of it, have you spent much time looking at the individual, Robert Jackson, who certainly, as part of the Nuremberg process, got involved in the architecture of how the trial would actually be Absolutely. set up? Absolutely. I mean, I, I know of him through reading about him in various books, um, including, um, you know, The Anatomy of the Nuremberg Trials, um, and just most recently, um, Noah Feldman's uh, The Scorpions, which had a, has some very interesting uh, mm -hmm. uh, chapters about Jackson in that book. Um, but, uh, you know, Jackson, back in the 1990s, I, I had read about him in various books, and certainly understood the significance that he brought to the entire endeavor. Quite frankly, uh, beyond the law itself, which of course he made a tremendous contribution on, particularly crimes against peace, the law of aggression, uh, which was the centerpiece of his prosecution in Nuremberg, um, what Robert Jackson brought to the endeavor was a, a spirit of commitment and of enthusiasm for the ideal of international justice. He was so eloquent. You know, sometimes in history you have to have individuals who speak so eloquently that almost regardless of what they actually achieve, the eloquence of how they seek that goal reverberates through the generations. Um, it was true of Robert Jackson. It was true of Martin Luther King, it was true of Jack Kennedy. Now, all of those individuals accomplished things, but I think one of, the, one of their lasting contributions to later generations was the eloquence with which they presented the mandate they were pursuing, and that was definitely Robert Jackson. You wrote this, I found very fascinating book, All the Missing Souls, a personal history of the War Crimes Tribunal. Uh, what motivated you? to do this, to kind of memorialize your life's journey? You know, as I was ending my eight years with the Clinton administration on uh, essentially the war crimes beat, um, it became increasingly apparent to me that I needed to record the history of what was transpiring on my watch. Um, I, I had kept throughout all those eight years meticulous notebooks in part because I always have to be briefing and, and speaking with other officials about what I have just learned or recorded, etc. So you need to have the record in front of you in order to properly brief your colleagues, speak to other governments, etc. All that ended up in my notebooks. And so I knew that I had a very rich body of, shall we say, evidence mm -hmm. uh, to draw upon, which was really found nowhere else. Um, and as I looked at those those boxes of notebooks, I said to myself, uh, you know, it's absolutely foolish not to create some kind of historical record uh, from this. It's very, very important, particularly as I was reading what other people were writing about the, the war crimes tribunals and, and recognizing that they were missing huge parts of the story, um, that it was very, very important to actually, for history, get this down. Um, and, and to do so, not really as a memoir, but rather, as I say, as a personal history. In other words, I was witness to, but also a participant in, 
a, a large historical movement of international justice for eight years, it's extremely important that that not be lost to, to uh, 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 I mean, that it be part of the historical record. What have you missed in here? Yeah, everybody oh, writes a book and it's like, oh, oh, sure. Oh, oh, I can tell you uh, th there's a lot missed in my book. I did not write, and this is just because the editor said, look, I, I submitted a manuscript of 250,000 words, and the editor said, oh, thanks very much. Uh, over the next few weeks, we'll look forward to you cutting 60,000 words from your manuscript, because we can, you know, to publish a book at that price, you have to bring it down to about 190,000 words. Otherwise, you're jacking up the price of your book. It becomes that thick instead of that thick, and the publisher doesn't want to go in that direction. So I had to cut 60,000 words, and I'm creating a second book out of that 60,000 words now. So that'll, that'll, you'll see that arrive. But what is not even included in the 60,000 words is um, the tribunals that I tried to create but failed to do so. Mm. And that's a whole story in and of itself. These are, these are simply the tribunals that I succeeded in, in helping with the creation of. Um, we, we were not successful in creating a war crimes tribunal on Iraq. Now remember, this is Iraq of the 1980s and 1990s mm -hmm. has nothing to do with the George W. Bush world. It has to do with um, the Gulf War of, of, the, of you know, 1990-91, but it also has to do with what Saddam Hussein unleashed on his people for 20 years. Um, we had a very concerted effort to try to build that tribunal, and that story isn't told at all in my book. We had an effort with Chechnya, believe it or not, uh, we had an effort with uh, Sudan and the 17-year civil war in Sudan. Um, and we had an effort with Burundi and the genocide that actually took place in Burundi. All of those are stories that really have never been told and which are the tribunals that were never built. Mm -hmm. And so I, I sometimes sit back and say, would anyone buy a book entitled The Tribunals We Never Built? You know, <laughs> but it, it, each of them are, 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 are diplomatic stories of, mm -hmm. of how the obstacles arose uh, time and again to actually achieve accountability in those situations. Wow, this is great, David. Thank so, you. Thanks thank for you coming, and we look forward to, to next year. Yeah, exactly. Next year. <laughs>